we do know what we're going to get basically, but what we're doing, which is a little different than say creating a painting or a clay pot, we're harnessing that energy and that hot molten media, making it respond to our will with our bare hands on the 2000 degree surface. So more or less, we have to have our design ready to go. We have to have things planned out. We know seconds make a difference. And we're not only making the piece, we're counting, we're timing, we're listening for the pitch of the glass when we ding it. Waiting for that piece in the middle of the process, that design, waiting, because no time to design at that point. It's gotta be ready to go. So once we take our last gather of crystal, over our bubble, we're going to roll it into that design and let that spontaneity occur within boundaries of our design. So we're making choices at that moment, but we're also planning it out well before we begin. We've got to that point, then we're doing good, we got the design on, but we're still having to manipulate the glass, we're still having to stretch it. Gravity is everything find little things that you do to the glass make a huge difference and if you do make a mistake then you spend a lot of time correcting, correcting, correcting and hopefully the piece will come out. But mainly it's a lot of careful action as well as spontaneous choices within a set boundary. We're giving a romantic story on our pieces. I call it romantic because I think it's almost a poetic expression in our glass instead of words, it's a feeling, but we're telling the story around the piece with our design. And a lot of it has the metallics and the colors. So it's that flavor, it's that poetic story. I say all of Midsummer Night's Dream is in our work because we do work abstract, then the viewer is allowed to participate in the imagery as well, trying to discover what he or she thinks of it too, and allows that story to continue around the piece, but also to stay alive without quite putting your finger on it. So if we do that, then we've done a good job. So I love the privilege of actually having the opportunity to dip my blowpipe into incredibly hot glass and make the magic, make the magic happen. Poetic expression in our glass 